TSUTigers.com. We're here with Anthony Levine for another Off the Grid. Uh, Anthony, the big news uh, around around here is that you got another Super Bowl ring. If you can, uh, take me back. I got you, you got your Baltimore Ravens t-shirt on there. Take me back to that day where uh, you guys won the championship. Um, man, it was it was unbelievable. Um, we had we had a great we had a great great game plan. This once once the uh, celebration started, it was it was just unbelievable. You know, um, after actually like our lights went off and all that, um, but yeah, it was fun. It was unbelievable. Um, just just being around great guys like Ray Lewis, Air Reed. You know, it's just it's unbelievable. Just being around two Hall of Famers, first ballot, two people that I looked up growing up. It was just it was just you know something just unbelievable. And doing the background from, um, so it was. It was, it was great, man. I, it was a great experience. I, I enjoyed it and I loved it, so it was great. How does it compare? You know, actually, for people that don't know, this is your second Super Bowl ring. You won one with Green Bay as well. Yeah. Um, how does it compare to that one? Um, it don't. It, it, yeah. it don't compare. It's, it's, it's totally different, you know. Um, Green Bay, it was a great opportunity for me. They gave me my first start, so I had fun. I enjoyed it. I still got a lot of friends. Um, up in Green Bay, but doing it with Green Bay and doing it with Baltimore is just totally different. It was it was it was so much different things going on, and it was just it, it was totally different. You know, I I I'm, I can't say I'll pick one over the other because it was both great experiences, and I had a great time doing both of them. Uh, so it, it was totally different. I can't say if I, I I favor one over the other. So it was great. So of course, um, you start here at TSU um, before before going on into the into professional uh, ranks. Um, how does playing college ball compare to playing in the NFL? Um, it's different. It's, it's so much faster. It's just um, quarterbacks. Quarterbacks are always on time. Um, the, you have the defensive linemen fast. The offensive linemen are fast. Everybody just fast. Everybody's smarter, and when 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 you get to the level to the NFL, it's not about it's really not about who's who's faster, who's bigger, who's stronger. It's about who's smarter. You know, you could be you could be a guy that that runs a, a four eight and be so much smarter than a guy that runs a four three, and just make it look so much easier. You know, just learning the game from an aspect from watching film, taking notes, reading techniques. That you know, we knew it in college, but we really didn't take the time out to really look at that. Like I watching film a lot in college, to watching it now. Like I watch so much film, I study so much, I see techniques, you see all kind of patterns, and it's just so it, it differs so much. It's it's unbelievable. What was the biggest thing that you personally had to work on between uh, college and to the NFL? The quarterback. Yeah. Um, the way how fast they can get the ball there, like they can look you off come back, look you back off again, come, it's, they go through so many different reads, you know. Once in, high, in college, it's probably two reads, you know, they probably look for the post, come back to the dig, uh, look for the slant, go back to the other slant, and, and pro, they'll look to the post, come back to the curl, go back to the slant, go then throw it to the dig, you know, it's just, they, they go through so many different reads so fast, and getting the ball there, it's, yeah, that, that's the difference, the quarterback. Yeah, and you also had to go against Joe Flacco and Aaron Rodgers, two big guys like that. So that's that's gonna make it a little bit difficult on you in practice. Yeah. Um, so of course you came to Tennessee State. What is the your fondest memory of uh, being a Tiger here? It can be off the field. It can be on the field. My fondest memory of being at Tennessee State. I have a lot of me I have a lot of memories. I mean, a lot of friends. You know, um, the boys. It was it's, it was so much fun. Um, it, it's really like two things that, that stick out to me is uh, Dominique Rodgers um uh, when, I, when I first met him, that, that guy was just something. He, he, he's a freak of nature, you know. Um, seeing like this, some of the plays that he made, some of the things that he did on the field, it was just, it was unbelievable. <clears throat> and I, I used to try so hard to try to, you know, mimic and just do whatever he did. But it's just, he, 
he was a great person, you know, just athlete overall. Um, I remember a play that he did was that we was playing Tennessee Tech, and um, he ran downhill to tackle a guy. He got blocked, and the guy went right past him, running full speed. Dominique came to a dead stop, turned around, and got, the guy was like 15 yards ahead of him. Dominique went down and caught it, and the guy was like a 4-3 guy. And Dominique still went catching him. The whole time I'm running at this guy, coming from the other side of the field at a great angle. And me and Dominique got there at the exact same time. Like, I don't know how he did that. He just had unbelievable speed. And then my other moment, you know, I'll cherish that for the rest of my life, is uh, Coach Reed, my last my last game that, that I played. Um, Coach Reed, uh, <laughs> we had like a real sentimental moment. You know, it was real sentimental. And uh, he he came to me and he was like, you know, Levine, keep your head up. He was like, you're one of the best players I ever coached. Um, you have a lot ahead of you with football. And a lot of people tell you that, but I, I felt it when he told me that, that he was genuine about that. And he knew, he knew something that I didn't know. He believed in me so much. And that moment right there, it was just like, man, you know, I have somebody in my corner. And even when I didn't get drafted, I didn't know this. A, a guy from Green Bay came and gave me an article about Coach Reed. He put in the paper, he was he was just, he was like outraged that I didn't get picked up, I didn't get drafted. He was just like, the numbers I put up, you know, on the field, the numbers I put up on my pro day, you know, that people's getting a steal, and he really went to bat for me, and you know that's why I love Coach Reed so much. And so, how did it feel when uh, you did get picked up? Oh, uh, the best feeling in the world, man! Yeah. Like it was like, um, I was sitting at a job day, and I'm like just waiting and waiting, and I see a guy, a lot of guys named Carl, man. I could tell you the guy's name right now. I ain't gonna tell you tonight, but I'm just sitting here, and, and right now to this day I keep up with this guy. Yeah, because I want to know. And why they drafted him over me? And to this day, I keep up with this guy. And and my name didn't get called, and I was just hurt, man. I was hurt. Um, I went upstairs, and um, I was actually I was crying, cause I was like, you know, it's over. I don't know, I don't know what else to do. And then, like 15 minutes later, I got a phone call. And I got I got one phone call, then I got another phone call, then I got another phone call, then another phone call. I got like six phone calls from teams that was like, they wanted to bring me in for camp. Green Bay called me. They didn't want to bring me in for camp. Cleveland, they did want to bring me in for camp, right? Mm -hmm. So when I talked to Green Bay, they was like, look, we can't bring you in for camp. But we could bring you in to try out. And I was like, man, I don't know. I can go somewhere to Cleveland and they're going to for sure give me a, a count spot where I can go try out and he just hope to get a count spot. Talking to Coach Reed, talking to my dad, and I was just like, you know, I believed in my skills and I went out there and I tried out and then the next day, you know, they gave me a contract. Wow. And it was just, I, I, I was happy. It was, I mean, it was, turned out to be a great decision too. <clears throat> it was. You got was two, two rings out of it. Yeah. Um, so I kind of, we're kind of jumping around here, but your decision to come to Tennessee State. Um, you kind of mentioned that you, you were born in Louisiana and uh, New Orleans, the Super Bowl there was kind of a homecoming. How did you decide on Tennessee State? How did you hear about Tennessee State first? And then how did you kind of decide on Tennessee State? Um, the funny thing, you want to know something funny? Yeah. Uh, I remember I was like a sophomore in college and I was watching Tennessee State play on BET. And, uh, High school or college? I was in I was in high school. Okay, high school. And I was watching Tennessee State play on BET. And I was like, man, I would never go to a black college. I would never go to a black college. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just I, I just saw it on on TV and I was like, I want to go to a black school. I, that, no, that, that's not me. And then um, I was getting recruited by North Carolina, Coach Webb. And then Coach Webb got a head job here, and he recruited me to come here. And I was just like, man, I said I'll never go there. Like, I'm not going there, no. And I didn't qualify. And I didn't qualify. That's when uh, I moved back to Louisiana because I went to high school in North Carolina. So I didn't qualify to go into no school. 
So I moved back home to with my mother <clears throat> in uh, Louisiana. That's when Hurricane Katrina happened. And then for some reason, I don't even know how or why I get a phone call and ask me if I still want to play football. And I was like, yeah, I still want to play football. And um, I come in, came in like second semester. And, um, you know, me and Coach, we already knew each other anyway. But I went to North Carolina camps and right. they was real highly on me anyway. So I knew Coach, um, Coach Webb. That's when I met Coach Reed. And I was here. Yeah. I was here. Yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of crazy. But. So what's next for Anthony and Levine here? What, you got workouts coming up soon? Did you just take part in these mini camps or what's up? Yeah, um, we just finished OTA's mini camp. And uh, right now I'm just working out. Um, I'm about to go down to Florida, train with uh, Dominique, actually. And, man, trying to get this um, this spot, trying to trying to play. Um, you know, Air Reed is gone. Just trying to, not trying to be no Air Reed by any means. I want to be Anthony Levine. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't replace greatness, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, just working hard to be the best, the best player that I could be not trying to go out there and be somebody that I'm not. So going down, train, train with Dominique, it's like a big brother to me. Go down, train with him, get ready for this season, and hopefully we can make a run to another Super Bowl yeah. so I can have a three of them, you know, <laughs> and have LeBron James. You're going to be running out of fingers. <laughs> you know, it'll be cool, so, yeah. One kind of off, uh, uh, kind of different question here. The NFL is thinking about going to 18-game regular season schedule which would be they might think a cut a couple of preseason games. As somebody who's actually had really good success in the preseason games and, and kind of uses that as kind of a tryout, what do you think about that proposition? Um, I'm a kind of guy that I, don't, I, I really don't get into that. It's like um, Coach Reed had this saying that players play, coaches coach. And I live by that. You know, I'm a player. So you tell me go out there and play 18 games, I'm going to go out there and play 18 games. You tell me go out there and play 16 games and four regular season, and four preseason games, I'm going to go out there and do that. I, I have no problem with whatever they come up with. Um, I'm cool with it. But 18 games, minus two preseason games, I'm with it. Four preseason games, 16 regular season games, I'm with it. As long as I'm playing football, I'm with it. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. Very politically correct answer there. <laughs> Anthony, thanks for joining us, and good luck uh, in the coming weeks here. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.